Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel is primarily about self-development, um, overall wellness, goal setting, planning, all of that good stuff. I would appreciate if anyone can like this video if you did enjoy it. Um, and if you're new here, I would love it if you could subscribe and support me. Today, as you can see from the title, this video is going to be about vision boards. Um, kind of just to go over what they are, how you would make one, what you use it for, all of that good stuff. So for me personally, I do make a vision board usually kind of around New Year's time. Like everyone else, I do have my New Year's resolutions. To go into the fresh year, I always find it's a really exciting time to just refocus, re-examine your life, see where you are. I do actually do quarterly goals in addition to doing the New Year's resolutions, um, but I also think it's nice to just really take the time to reflect set a longer term goal of a year um, and with that actually making the vision board to really solidify kind of what you're wanting to do and just I guess put it into reality a little bit more just because it is a physical thing that you can look at and see the things that you're wanting to bring to your life. So I do personally kind of believe in the whole law of attraction thing. So, so for example if you're looking to have more love in your life to put out more love into the universe um, and then over time eventually the love would be reflected back to you. It's romantic like you're hoping for, or love in different forms, because obviously it takes all forms, it would be reflected to you in some way. So just really putting the thought out there, because your thoughts do create your reality. Um, and that's kind of the premise of the whole vision board, and really just being able to look at what you're hoping to bring to your life, put the energy and focus on that, um, and just kind of think it into reality, so to speak. So how I personally make vision boards is with magazines or writing words on the board that I'm going to be putting up in my home. Some people simply pr print the photos from their computer, but I really find it fun to go through a magazine and kind of look at it in a different context. So look for the positive side of it, look for the words um, that reflect what you're trying to bring into your life all of that um, and usually I'm surprised by how much I am able to find in magazines that otherwise kind of have like a negative connotation that I don't really look at that often honestly aside from making the vision board. So when using a vision board um, the way that I personally use it is to look at it and really envision myself having those things in my life feeling grateful for them even if they're not currently in my life they are probably in my life in some form, just maybe not the exact form that I'm looking for. So, like one of my goals personally is to own a house or have a home with, with property. Right now I don't own a home, but I do have a beautiful home that I can be grateful for. So really just focusing on my feelings of gratitude for what I currently have, while also envisioning myself in my dream home or at home that I'm owning that's my own. So. Um, that's just one example. There's tons of examples. I will show you my vision board a little bit later so you can see what I have in mind and um, the types of things that I'm trying to aspire to or attract into my life. So with a vision board, you do want to put it somewhere that you will see it frequently. So for me personally, I have it on my wall beside my bed and I actually have it low enough where I can easily see it when I'm laying in bed or sitting in bed because that is where I personally do my morning meditation. Um, I get a cup of tea, I take it back to bed, kind of drink my tea, wake myself up a little bit so I'm not going to fall back to sleep while I'm meditating, um, and then I just sit in bed and listen to my meditation tracks and really just kind of say my positive affirmations and take some time to look at my vision board and really envision having those things in my life. And to me, I find it is a really useful tool to keep me focused and remind me each day what it is that I'm looking to get from my life and bring into my life. So I feel like everyone would have different things that they're looking to add to their vision board or different hopes for their life. But the overall concept is the same. So it's really to make yourself or make yourself think about these things on a regular basis. Really keep your focus on your vision board, on your things that you've added to it, um, and really just keep them at the forefront of your mind because the things that you do think about that is the energy and the thoughts you're sending out to the universe that is likely going to be what you're bringing back so you may as well focus on the positive things that you're hoping to add to your life rather than the negative things or the reasons that you're not happy or the reasons that you're sad or upset whether that's a person or your job or your living situation anything really it's just 
more important to focus on and be grateful for what you do have and the positives in your life. So I have my vision board here. Um, as you can see, I just did mine on a poster board. Um, and just to give you a little bit of an idea of what I have, um, my focus this year is building my business. So there's going to be a lot of things about being a boss, about being a girl boss. Uh, I'm looking to start my own business. So I have the word CEO on there. And then there's a few pictures about um, a few pictures of houses because I am looking to own my own home. A couple pictures of, of dogs because the biggest thing that I want in life right now is to be able to be in a position where I'm able to have a dog, um, preferably a big dog. So with that, I need a yard for it to be able to run around in to get its exercise on top of the walks. Um, but for me, that is a big focus, and I do really believe that this is the year that I will be getting a dog. So I'm really excited to realize that that goal that I have on my vision board. Um, I also have a lot of things about travel. So already I am starting my year off with a trip to Manila in the Philippines for my kind of for my day job. Um, we're going out there for a couple weeks, so I'm super excited to get to go and see the Philippines. I've been to Asia once before. I went to Japan when I was in high school, um, but I'm just really excited to see another part of the world that I have yet to see, um, and especially that it's a work trip. So it just is cool to get the opportunity to do that through my job. Um, and it's something that's brand new for us. Uh, there's never been any trips that I've been able to go on before. So super excited for that opportunity and really feeling grateful to be able to do that. Um, in addition to that, I do, I don't know if you saw the map on there, but I do have a map of Canada because my goal for the summer is to do a trip across Canada. So a road trip, drive across Canada, see my country, see all of the different spots. Um, and really, that is going to be one of the biggest highlights of my year, I think. I have my mindset to it that I am going this summer. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be going for, um, but whether it's alone or whether I have kind of a partner in crime there, um, it is going to happen, and I am super stoked to do that. Um, and yeah, so that is everything that's on my vision board. If you are interested, please like and subscribe if you have any thoughts about vision boards or any questions, leave them below. Um, and let me know what you would put on your vision board. So if you have made one, what, type, what types of things are you hoping to bring into your life this year? And if you were to make one, what type of things do you think that you would be adding? Or how do you think you would do it different to me? Some people use like a cork board and they're able to just pin it. I know um, that I like kind of using a, a poster board or something a little bit larger and actually taking the process to glue everything down and kind of collage it together um, instead of having the pins everywhere. So it is really just personal aesthetic, but if you do have one, I would love to hear what you have it on it and what your goals are for this year. See you soon. Bye.